Three cheers for the pink, yellow, and purple. Theo, what are you talking about? The pink, yellow, and purple. See? Three cheers for the pink, yellow, and purple. Uh, Theo, I don't know how to tell you this, but what? I think you're a little mixed up about your colors. A yam? Kids, remember, Theo is only a puppy. He's still learning about his colors. We should probably help him out. Oh, the kids! Hi, kids! Tomorrow is a special day. Can you howl with me? Ready? Theo! Yes, Theo, you're right. There may even be some barbecue picnics and parties to celebrate, and you might see a lot of these waving around. Oh, the United States flag. I love it so much. It's so pretty. I agree, Theo, but um, what did you say this color was? That's purple. Kids, what color is the star background? Blue, right. And the stars are? Uh-huh, white. And what color are the stripes? That's right, red and white. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go party! Wait a minute, Theo, come back. Did you ever stop to think about why these colors were chosen for the flag? Nope, let's go party! Theo, come. Sit. Stay. Good boy. The color red stands for bravery and courage. When we celebrate Memorial Day, which is tomorrow, we honor those who showed great courage and gave their lives for our country. The color white stands for purity because our founding fathers wanted our country to be a kind and upright nation. The color blue stands for justice. Flags are a country's way of showing the values that their citizens stand for. I'm proud of my country. And when I see the flag, I think about how blessed I am to live here. Miss Danny? Yes, Theo? It's just going to take long because I got to go get the hot dogs and hamburgers for my party. Almost done, Theo. I still want to let the kids know about what this has to do with our Bible lesson today. It's quite simple, really. The Bible talks about the three things the colors of our flag represent. Let's look at the red. The Lord wants us to be brave and courageous. It says in Joshua 1.9, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Oh, wow. What about the white? The white stands for purity. 1 John 3 says, Now we are children of God. And what we shall be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Do you remember what the blue is for, Theo? Uh, you mean the purple? No, Theo. This is the color blue. Don't worry, you'll get it. Oh, yeah, it stands for justice. Right. Micah 6, 8 says, What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? God wants us to show others that we live for him by being brave, pure, and just. It's almost as if we are living, breathing flags, showing that we belong to Jesus Christ and we're citizens of his kingdom. And that is cause for celebration. Okay, Theo, now you can go get your hot dogs and hamburgers. Yay! Bye! Oh, wait. Dogs eat hot dogs? I mean, they're called hot dogs. Yes, we love them. Bye, kids. See you! Bye, Theo. See you later. Let's have fun this weekend. And let's also remember those who have served our country and given their lives for our freedom. This is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God, thank you for the brave people who gave their lives for our country. 
and for our friend Jesus, who gave his life to save us. And thank you for the freedom we now have because of them. In Jesus' name, amen.